Day nine of the Alec Murdoch trial is getting underway this morning. Murdoch is charged with killing his wife Maggie and son Paul sometime between 8.30 p.m. and 10.06 p.m. on June 7th, 2021. There were more than 250 witnesses on the witness list, and after a week and a half, we have heard from less than 20. Nick Reagan is live in Colleton County with the very latest. Nick, what has the state been trying to prove with this latest round of witnesses? Good morning. Hey, good morning, guys. You know, the state today or yesterday rather started the day by trying to pinpoint Alec at the scene of the crime at the time that Al, uh, Maggie and Paul were murdered. Now, they did that by dropping a bombshell piece of evidence at 844 p.m. Paul Murdoch took a video of one of the dogs that was inside the kennels uh, at the family's hunting estate Moselle. Now, in that video, uh, the there were three voices that were heard. We want to show you that video now. Okay. Hey, he's got a bird in his mouth. Bubba. Hey, Bubba. It's a guinea. This is a chicken. Come here, Bubba. Come here, Cash. Come here, Bubba. Cash. Now, about five to ten minutes later, after this video was taken, the state says that Paul and Maggie's phones stopped their regular activity, suggesting that they were killed within that time frame. Now, the audio and the timing is what's important here. Again, taken possibly minutes before Maggie and Paul were killed at that location where their bodies were found, that video was intended for one of Paul's best friends, Rogan Gibson, who referred to the Murdochs as his second family. Now, Gibson identified three voices on that video. Paul's, Maggie's, and Alex. Now, Will Loving, another longtime friend of Paul's, took the stand as well, also positively identifying Murdoch's voice in that video. The defense didn't cast any doubt about whether or not Alec was in that video, but they did question the state's timeline and ask the friends to describe Murdoch's relationship with Paul. Now, Gibson said that they were as close as can be and had excellent an excellent relationship. Loving gave a similar sentiment, the defense trying to prove that Alec had no motive for killing his son. Now, one thing to watch today is the highly anticipated ruling from Judge Clifton Newman about whether Murdoch's alleged financial crimes can be used as evidence. The defense argues that those alleged crimes they aren't settled yet and alleged crimes shouldn't be used in this case. The state says Murdoch's financial state was in shambles and he was accused of swindling family, friends and clients out of nearly nine million dollars. And that's motive enough. Judge Newman says he'll make that determination later this morning. Now, guys, when Gibson did take the stand, uh, he was asked about some of those financial crimes, which the defense uh, objected to, saying that he had no personal uh, uh, information about any of Alec Murdoch's crimes, uh, financially anyways. We'll continue to watch that today as court gets started at about 930. Guys, back to you.